This is a very unique situation. Uh, we're at surface, from surface to, this is a road cut, and you know, I'm not gonna steal the geologist's thunder, but they were walking on that road looking for nickel when they found the graphite. So it's, uh, it's, this is a road cut, we saw the wall, we looked at it, we said, wow, this is pure, up to 35% graphite. And uh, what we did is we went to the government and we asked the government, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go back. We went to the government, we asked the government if they are, were aware of a, of a graphite project in Northern Guinea, and they gave us a box, which was a full feasibility done by the BRGM of the time, where we had the, the geometry of the deposit, the metallurgy, all the work done, and the flow sheet that they were just about to go into production when France left Francophone Africa, and, I went, and then Quebec came in and we picked up the pieces. So our first mine that we built in Guinea uh, 15 years ago was exactly the same thing under a company called SEMAFO, which means Société d'Exploitation Minière Afrique de l'Ouest. And the same thing, I walked into the ministry's office, they gave me a box, it was a feasibility on a gold mine. We took it, we built it, produced 1.2 million ounces out of there at cash cost sometimes at $125 an ounce. So similar situation with this graphite project. Uh, extremely interesting because it's it's probably the largest graphite deposit in the world to be confirmed with drilling but it's 8.7 kilometer long it's up to one kilometer wide it's as deep as you want it to be but the first 32 meter is in oxide it's in saprolite it's it's sand so we don't need to mill it we don't need to crush it we need to scoop it out wash it sort it sell it so it's very straightforward. The metallurgy is also unique because of the age of the deposit. The deposit is 3.6 billion years old. So it's like when the diamonds were coming up with the kimberlites, well, there was a, a, a structure that opened and the graphite came up. So it's the, the oldest so far discovered graphite deposit at 3.6 billion. And the flakes have been liberated because of the time, the water, the sun, so the flakes are liberated in the first 32 meters of the deposit. So metallurgy is easy, quick to market, and ac access is fantastic. So the, the, red, the, 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 the red zone over here, this is the deposit. We, are, we have three exits to the port, through Liberia, through Ivory Coast, or through Guinea. We will decide, depending on boat capacity, we will ship this with containers, so it will be very easy to ship. And you know, Guinea is across from North America. It's straight up to Europe. It's extremely well positioned and there are vessels leaving Guinea every day of bauxite going to Canada, to Alcan, now Rio Tinto, to the smelter. So there's a lot of traffic, there's a railroad. We have a paved road. Well, you saw the road that, what, what, that, the, the road that crosses the deposit is the national road. So paved all the way back to Conakry. Very straightforward uh, situation into production. The deposit, as I mentioned, the geology is done, the geometry is done. We are doing the drilling to go under Canadian standard 43101, but if we didn't want to go to 43101, well, we would put it into production this year. But we're going to take it to 43101 because we're a publicly listed Toronto Stock Exchange company. I completely agree with my previous speakers, is expandable and battery is our immense market and growing market. We're just back this weekend, a whole sales team from China. We spent 17 days in China discussing offtake. We're in, in discussion with people in Japan. We're in discussion in North America with one of the largest graphite users in North America. So all aspects of the business, refractory, uh, expandable, all of that, depending on your flake size distribution, is, is available to us because we are not breaking the flakes, we're treating the flakes, and it's, it, there's no nasty elements, so we get to a maximum concentration with no chemicals. So, so the, in, in, I know it's a detail, but in mining it and in processing it, there'll be water, soap, and oxygen, so the tailing is putting the sand back without the flakes. So it's, it, it's very simple, CapEx is gonna be extremely low, our group, we have invested already a billion dollar in Africa with, through our other mines. We're planning to invest another billion through other mines, excluding this one in the next five years, but that one's got the lowest CapEx of all and the lowest OPEX of all. 
where we stand as far as large flakes. We're at you know at the very top of our peers. Uh, we have Northern and, and Triton that are we're in the same quartile. Uh, again, but there, to me that's a nice slide. But there's a market for everyone. So you know my our friends in Quebec, Mason Graphite are all the way here, and I mean their their production is committed to because it depends where you go. If you go to the battery business, you'll go to the smaller flakes. If you go to the other side of the business, you'll go to the higher flakes. So I think the demand, as was indicated previously, is so large that no matter what you what production you have, there's a buyer. It's time to market. Time to market is the key thing, and we're going to be very quick. Uh, and this is 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 what we've set up as our team is to start construction in 2019 and we're even trying to push this this way but we're following the path again because the feasibility was done by the French so we're just redoing things redoing the flow sheet and as I said in the flow sheet no crushing no milling just a bit of cleaning and, and of course flotation drying packing and, and this is what we have we're using DRA MedCam in, in Montreal we are advancing the, the, the feasibility study to be done by year end and, and we know permitting is going to go pretty quickly and globally for us financing as part of our group is not, not going to be an issue so we're going to go very quickly. So maybe that's probably the last one. So that's, the, that's how they control me is they cut the slides short. And uh, so anyway, it, you know, in a, as a summary, this project is going to production fast track. Kine are behind the project. And one thing we do in our group uh, is traceability and CSR mining. Some of you may know Semifo, but Semifo was named the number one CSR company in the mining space in the world year after year in our CSR approach. And what we see from the potential clients, traceability is important and social mining is important and we do work uh, accordingly with the Canadian government as our partner in the CSR strategy and the CSR approach and traceability is also extremely, extremely important. So I think this is kind of the new uh, story because we just you know, started working on it January 2017. We are where we are today, but it's, it's, it's going very fast and we'll have 60 to 70% of the production committed by the time we start construction at the end of the year. We're not gonna to commit to everything, but the beauty of it is it's totally expandable because we're not limited by the resource. Uh, currently, we'd have probably 200 year of my life uh, with 18 to 20% of that deposit drilled, and it's only the first 32 meters, which is sand, and after that it's hard rock, but it's all free of nasty elements and very easy to, uh, to process. So uh, this is, I think it's a, something that you to watch for, and uh, we're extremely proud to be in the space, and we believe we, we have a very high, high quality graphite. Thank you very much.